How did it just go from it's okay to show your Peter at the Super Bowl, but burping? I get you're super hot. We all know that. Okay, but what's wrong? What do I do? Fix me. God, fix me. Do you want belly button cheese on your burger? <laughs> my hand, it felt like a static. I ate my pinky and fed it to the board. <laughs> she didn't want to go in it. She was freaking out like she was having a panic attack. She's like, there's a witch in that truck. So I open my eyes and I see it. I'm like, whoa, okay. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Did you feel scared? Yeah, when it got cold, I was like, what the hell is going on? Welcome to Haunted Homies podcast dedicated to building the paranormal community and hearing terrifying stories from those within. Okay, um, I want everyone to know this was not uh, my request. Uh, Corey chose to wear this. Yes, I did. Can you describe your outfit to those that are just listening right now? What are you wearing currently? Um, I'm wearing a baby blue bonnet. It's covering my ears, keeping me warm. And I have a, I have a baby blue Dress. It looks like a nightgown that my mom would wear to go to bed. And then I have some yellow Balenciagas. <laughs> <laughs> and a jock strap. What sport do you play? Basketball. <laughs> I don't know. With a jock strap? I don't know. It's like football and baseball. <laughs> baseball. Okay. <laughs> baseball. Yeah, baseball. <laughs> oh, well, hey, everyone. Thanks thanks for coming out and joining us in our, in our quaint little saloon for the evening. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Thank, thanks for coming out. So, okay, before we get deeper into the show, I have to share this story. This was so funny. This was last night, and uh, we were obviously at a haunted location, and we go up to the fourth floor, and it's supposed to be the, one of the most active floors. So I'm with a group of, uh, I think I have like 10 people with me, and I'm in the front of the group. I'm leading the way up. We finally get to the top, and we're just walking down the hall. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we all just hear this loud boom, and the entire floor shakes. Like, the, like it felt like the whole building shook, and everyone's like, there's no way. There's no way we're already getting, like, that type of activity, and we've been up here for 10 seconds. So I turn around, and I start walking to where we heard the noise, and it was just someone that fell walking up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> they were just way behind the group, and they just ate it. Just walking up, they ate it. But uh, they would be a good ghost. They would be a really good ghost in the future. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. It scared me, dog. I was like, there's no way. And it was just this dude. He's like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how often that's happened on investigations where people have just fallen, but they don't want to admit it. And they're like, did you guys hear that? And they're just like, ah. <laughs> just rubbing their elbow. Like, yeah, you all heard that, right? I bet that happens a lot. Yeah. I bet that happens a lot. Okay. Well, should we go into this into this game that we're deciding to play? Oh. Apparently, yeah. So typically, we start our shows with like a little bit of comedy before we get into like the more serious stories and the paranormal end of things. And apparently, we're we're twenty. This is show twenty one. Yep. And we apparently have not played this game yet. I don't know how. I don't know how. We played a lot in the RV. Yes. Yeah. Um. Are we? Do you do you want to do you tell them the game that we're going to be playing? It's a okay. Very basic game. Yeah. I'm sure everyone knows the game. Would you rather? Yaw. We got one yaw. We got one yaw. So pretty much for everyone that doesn't know what would you rather is, you just have two options. Would you rather A or B? And uh, we had you guys, and we also had some other people write down some would you rathers for us. And so we have to decide which we would rather do. And I am terrified because I'm very scared for what y'all wrote down. And I should and I, be. And I will say, I will say, there were four that were written in here uh, that alarmed me that someone here needs help. Um, <laughs> some of these written here scare me, and that is an impressive thing to do. I literally will not read what they are because they're so horrendous <laughs> that I'm like, whoever wrote this, uh, please don't murder us after the show because I am afraid of you. <laughs> do you want to read one? <laughs> should, you, should you read one? Yeah. It might have to get cut out of the podcast. We're, oh, so. We'll read it just so you understand, but there's no way. Okay. Um, <laughs> just pick one. Just pick one. Okay, ready? This is this is coming from me. Uh, Betty White. Uh, Who wrote that? Oh! 
We should play a normal round, or we can pitch the version, uh, a twist on this game, which would be there's would you rather one or two, but ladies first. Thank he gets you. to pick the one that he wants, and I am stuck with the other one, and I have to do my best to justify the other one and see who you guys decide with. So should we play a normal Ooh. round first? Okay. A normal round like together as a team? Yeah. And then we'll turn it into more of a competition? I'm down for that. Okay, go ahead. Pick Y'all up. down for that? Should we do that? <laughs> All right, All right, pick a random card. All right, I'm going to pick... Oh, my God. Okay. All right, you can... You, <laughs> okay. You wanna, do, I, do I read both? Yeah, you read them both. Okay. All right, so the first one says, would you rather lick someone's eyeball every hour? Okay. That sucks. Or would you rather live in a mansion, but every time you leave the house, you have to wear a pentagram... <laughs> Oh my God! You have to wear a pentagram-shaped butt plug. <laughs> a pentagram-shaped butt plug. Ow! <laughs> oh my God! Wait, I, hold on. Is it just? Is it just? Is the plug normal, or is it like the outside of the plug? It's shaped. It's shaped. But but the handle on it could be. You know what I mean? <laughs> The handle on it. So are you justifying the pentagram butt well, plug? This, 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 Dude, this, why are you arguing no, so this hard is, about the butt plug? This is massively important. Look, look, yeah. look yeah. hold on. There is a huge difference. There's a huge difference between having a pentagram physically go in my yeah. I'm sorry. Or the difference between having a butt plug that happens to have an end cap that looks like a pentagram. Would you know? What? How do you know? Wait, you've never seen a butt plug, dude? No, I have, but you're like describing it like, trust me, there are two different types of butt plugs, yeah, okay, dude, Corey? Okay, dude, they're like... Trust me, look, dude. They're like gauges. You don't have to put the giant one in. <laughs> you start small. You start small and work your way like up. Like a baby pentagram? Is that what you start with? No, you start with a baby butt plug. That sounds okay. weird. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I have to choose one. But remember, uh, you get to live in a mansion, but every time you leave, and if it's a big enough mansion, you don't have to leave anymore. Uh, I, I mean, I could just Uber eat. And it a says lot. lick someone. It doesn't say, like, whose eyeball. So that's a huge factor. As Licking well. someone's eyeball every hour for the rest of my life would suck. I mean, do you never get to sleep consecutively? 59 yeah. minutes is the most consecutive sleep you'd get. That would be or, terrible in my mental or health. Or just anytime you leave the house, throw in a little. You know what I mean? Just it in. Am I really about to choose the butt plug? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to choose the pentagram. I want sleep. I, you know, I can't wake up every 59 minutes and lick someone's eye. Yeah. What and happens, you know, if, what if I can't find anyone? What if I'm in a desert? I'll be honest. Take the mansion out of it and, and honestly take out the other option. I just want the pentagram butt plug. <laughs> Did you write the butt plug? No, dude. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> no, dude, I didn't. Wow. Okay, do we both do we agree? We both agreed Are butt we plug. Both agree? Let's go, dude. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Hey, Team. make some noise for butt plug. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's market it. It's the pentaplug. <laughs> the pentaplug. The pentaplug, exactly. Holy shit. Right, I so, was not expecting that to be the first would you rather. So Pentaplug has I'm, I'm used to this game being like, would you rather live on an island or, you know, or would you rather be stuck on an island? <laughs> For the record, that is a lie. Uh, every time guys play this game, it is only about... No, it's every not. Every time. Every time a group of guys gets together, it is literally, would you rather suck 100... Or would you rather suck 99... On you. It's always that. That's literally every time guys play the game, that's exactly what happens. No dude, no dudes are ever like, oh, would you rather save a puppy or a kitten? No, it's how many do you swallow? Every time, dude. Next one. <laughs> don't, don't try and play Jesus it. Jesus Christ. Don't try and play it. Let's do this. Welcome to our paranormal podcast. <laughs> Let's just spread them out. Okay. Okay. Spread them out. Spread them out like you got to do for that pentagram <laughs> plug, dude. Yep. Yep, dude. I knew what you were going to say. All right. There you go. Do you want us to go versus where Corey has to pick one and I have to justify the other and then you decide who wins? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, no. What if I get a bad one? Well, you get to pick. So there's two of them. Oh, because I'm a lady. Yeah. And then you Thank get to pick you. which of the two you want to justify and I have to try and combat you. Run it. All right. <laughs> okay. Would you rather poop blood every time you poop 
but it's the rare type O negative kind, so you can donate it. That's very sweet. That's cool. Okay. Or That's gonna be mine, isn't it? Date a ghost hunter. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the the bloody poop, and I'm gonna go with a uh, date a ghost hunter. Imagine, imagine if I was dating a ghost hunter. Imagine all the places that we would go investigate together. On our honeymoon, we go to Alcatraz. <laughs> On our anniversary, we go to the Queen Mary. You know? Oh, you're a ghost hunter and a YouTuber, though. So, you for, did you say ghost hunter YouTuber? I thought it was ghost hunter or a YouTuber. No, it says date a ghost hunter and a YouTuber, which means you're a ghost hunter, but you're a piece of shit. <laughs> so... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that, think about it, though. You're a ghost hunter and YouTuber, which means everything that you want to do if you're dating him... You have to vlog it. You have it. to vlog it. Everything. <laughs> and everything has to be over dramatic and over the top. <laughs> you have to constantly do a thumbnail face on your honeymoon. You're like... Yeah, and you have to do... Everything has to be filmed and documented and edited and posted, and you got to do brand deals in order to go to Hawaii. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not just a ghost hunter. You're a ghost hunter and a YouTuber. But imagine, like, the thumbnail when we get married... It's like, instead of like kissing the bride, we're both just like, <laughs> we got married, gone she, wrong. She said, what? She said, what? <laughs> she said, yes. <laughs> Question marks everywhere. Parentheses, police came. <laughs> I was going to, never mind. Nope, don't do it. Yep. Look, I'm just saying, I think it'd be a miserable life to date a ghost hunting YouTuber. Sorry, Ginger. Uh... <laughs> 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 it's just like everything everything you do has to be about ghost hunting and youtube that's it versus me look uh you know it's it only affects me right my problem is my problem blood every time i poop right uh -huh. but it's a rare typo negative and i donate it which means i have now developed a system in which i can turn my fecal matter into something that helps dying children so would you rather uh <laughs> Yo, that was a good argument. I didn't know what to say to that. I was like, damn, he's on to something. So would you rather, would you rather, uh, you know, would you guys rather date a selfish ghost hunting YouTuber? Selfish? Uh, YouTubers are selfish. That's just, <laughs> okay, look, fair. we are them. We know them. We can say that very okay, clearly. Okay, true. Okay, true. You know, everything has to be about a video and what's your next title? What's your next thumbnail? Yeah. Or me, I FaceTime my grandmother. You know what I mean? I, I, <laughs> I, I, blind. I, blood it's fine it doesn't affect you and i bring it over to the children's hospital <sighs> okay all right make some noise for a data ghost hunter oh my god <laughs> and then and would you and would you rather uh would you rather have someone who blood and donates it to the children's hospital yeah. woo <laughs> bro how did you lose that round <laughs> thank you you didn't woo so that's bull <laughs> No, you did it. There was only one. I woo. heard a woo right. No, there was. Uh, I heard. The, I heard woo. Yeah, there, there was one. It was just one woo. And it's only because she's making eye contact with you. She, she's, she's directly. In front of you. Oh wow, are YouTubers that bad? Dude, I'm gonna Next pin one. this to my fridge and be like, the time might be Corey. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, right, next I have, round. I, have I got one. This. I have one victory card. Okay. Next right. one. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right. So cool. would you rather have to Mike Tyson someone's ear, bite it off, or would you rather fall deeply in love with Bigfoot after saving yourself for him for your entire life, but only find out that he has the complete opposite of what big feet should mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you, you have a choice. Do you want to you want to Mike Tyson someone's ear or you get to be in a happy ever after marriage with someone who has a very tiny foot? <laughs> foot in quotation. Well, I don't want to bite off someone's ear. You know, mm -hmm. like that that would be terrible. But also I don't really want to marry Bigfoot. Like can Bigfoot speak English? You know, can I understand him? How are we going to communicate? Why don't you pick which one? And then let's find out. Oh, man. I are you going to bite someone's ear off? Or are you going to marry Bigfoot with a tiny penis? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have to bite someone's ear off. I have to. Okay. I'm going to have to bite someone's ear off. You're going to jail. No, I'm not. You're going to jail. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Why? Because you, you assaulted someone and ripped their ear off. What if they asked me to? <laughs> Would anyone here prefer for him to bite your ear off? I would. I would. I'd rather bite your ear off. 
Wait, you would rather... Hold on, that wasn't, that wasn't the question. That wasn't the question. The question was, would anyone here like to have your ear bitten off? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so okay. That was the question at I hand. don't know. I feel like there's a Craigslist ad out there somewhere, and it's like, bite my ear off for $30 or But something. you would also be known as the guy who Mike Tyson someone's ear. Well, you would be known as the guy that married Bigfoot. <laughs> But it's, I fell deeply in love. We all did, right? If you would rather fall in love, you have fallen deeply in love with Bigfoot, who you saved yourself for. You are pure. He's pure. You know why you know he's pure? No one's been able to find him to take his V-card. So you know that you both lost your virginity together. You have a wholesome relationship. And also, you know what? Maybe it's a good thing, right? Because size doesn't matter. I don't know, dude. I think marrying Bigfoot's a little weird. Is it? It's, it's, uh, marrying Bigfoot's got to be a little weird. So you would rather assault someone? No, I told you. I would find a Craigslist ad of someone asking for me to bite their ear off. I would not just go do it to a random person. I would just spend the rest of my life like being like, I will pay you $30 right now, please. I wish, I wish we had someone like Jamie from like Joe Rogan's podcast to like look it up and he can find that <laughs> ad. Find that ad. And be like, there's a guy in Cincinnati right now who's willing to pay 200 bucks to get his ear ripped off. And then he finds another ad. It's like local single Bigfoots in your area. <laughs> 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 okay, um, I, think, I think my argument is, look, if you choose me, if you choose me, that means you're falling in love with someone deeply and tremendously, and you get to have a wonderful life together out in the woods, out in the wilderness, fresh air, blue skies, birds. You're basically, you know, Snow White, right? But instead of seven dwarves, you get one giant foot. Um, and yes, you know, is meh, it's mediocre, but you're happy. Well, you know what? What if I waited at a hospital until someone had to get their ear amputated. And I did the honor for them. Think about it. Think about it. That counts. That's not as bad. But you have to Mike Tyson it. And Mike Tyson did not ask for permission. He did not politely wait out of a hospital. He took someone and he assaulted them. All right, make some noise for Bigfoot. Damn, what? Yeah, yeah. You guys would all rather rip someone's ear off and bite it off? Yes. Keep your card. Thank you. Keep your card. That's 1-1. One, one. Okay. That's 1-1. One, one. Are, we, are we doing first to three? First to three? First to keep three cards? Okay. Okay. Dude, I made a great argument. I could have saved someone's life. I think no matter what, no one here wants to marry Bigfoot with a tiny penis. <laughs> I think no matter what. No, I think it's just Bigfoot in general. I don't think that has anything to do what with... If, what if Bigfoot is just like Shaquille O'Neal, just a big dude, he's yeah. out there... Oh, and his nickname's Bigfoot. Yeah, and he's just waiting to get groomed. Like, he's just never found a barber, you know what I mean? And that's all. He's just a hairy, ha okay. tall guy. Okay, thing, have you ever seen those, like, homeless transformation videos where the dudes have, like, crazy big beards and long hair, and then they come out looking handsome as f Yeah. Yeah, that's all of you. That you guys all f***ed up. <laughs> you could have had Brad Pitt, seven foot two, Hercules <laughs> mother... <laughs> Brad Pitt, all to yourself in the woods in a cabin, but nah, y'all judge that book by a cover, dude. Y'all, y'all, just slam it like case closed. Yeah, y'all, 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 y'all mean, dude. Like Bigfoot's just a nice dude who just needs a barber. You know what I mean? No, Bigfoot's just like one Manscaped brand deal away from being a <laughs> trendy YouTuber. <laughs> Big facts. Oh, okay. nice. Well, are you reading now? Yeah, I'll yeah, read. Okay, I'll right, read right, okay. Ooh, okay. This is a good one. I like this one a lot. Would you rather burp for 30 seconds every time you fart? Okay. Or flash the whole Super Bowl during the halftime show for 30 seconds and your whole family is watching? Here you go. That's that, mine? That your oh, Super I love Bowl. it. Thank you. I actually wanted this one. You wanted the Super Bowl Absolutely. One? Janet Jackson. But no... <laughs> But it wasn't, it wasn't 30 seconds. It was, a, it was a good amount of time. And honestly, I think like no one would have cared if they saw an extra titty for another 25 seconds. You know what I mean? It wouldn't have made a big deal. Uh, I don't what know, are you? dude. You want to be embarrassed? Like the entire world, you're just... So you, you have to burp for 30 seconds every time you fart. Yeah. How many times do you think the average person farts a day? Mm, maybe like two or three. Okay. Every single time for the rest of your life or just flash the whole Super Bowl during the halftime show, which means you're on stage. 
mm-hmm. right? In order to flash the whole Super Bowl, that means you're a performer. Yeah. You're on stage. You're obviously an artist. Yeah. Or a skilled dancer or performer, right? Things yeah. are already going well for you. And it's just 30 seconds. So what's your plan? You got to get booked to be a backup dancer for Pitbull. And then just when your time comes, you're just going to go running in the front naked. Yep. And then you're going to get in trouble. So you're going to get arrested. Hmm. And all I have to do is burp for 30 seconds. But I can just say it was a nip slip or a tip slip. No, no. <laughs> I just a tip slip, dude. A 30 second. Like I can just pretend like I didn't even know. You know no, what I mean? What? I can just be like, oh, it, and I just keep dancing and it just keeps like shaking its way out. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, and then just end 30 seconds. And so what if my family's watching? They made my penis. My mom would be proud. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. That's a, he's next to Pitbull. That's my boy and his little man. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's <laughs> my little man. Look at him dance. Dude, like, I think I'm totally fine in this, in this situation. I would just say, hey, total accident wardrobe. I, uh, Have you seen the backup dancers for all these performers? Yeah. They're barely wearing any clothing. Bound to happen. I just find that so much worse than just burping for 30 seconds. That every is Every not- time. Every time. That so, is cool to me. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah. We have a clock in front of us. Okay. You want to know how annoying that would be? Trying to go on any date. What if you have gas during your wedding? It's when you walk outside. For 30 seconds every single time you fart. You know people fart in their sleep? (laughs) (laughs) Every night? (laughs) I just... (laughs) You would wake yourself up. My girlfriend wakes up to just me burping. She's like, oh, he farted again. (laughs) And think about it, you probably start having panic attacks because if you're burping, you're exhaling for 30 straight seconds, exhausting all of your air, you can't breathe, you might start having a panic attack. What if you're swimming? What if you have to fart while you're swimming, Corey, and now you're burping and you've lost all your air and you're underwater? You're on a nice vacation. You just dove in off a nice boat, you're 15 feet underwater, you start farting. You ate too many tacos and now all of your air is coming out. Guess what happens when you burp and you blow out all your air? You Think, Corey, and now you've sunk further down. You've sunk further down. You don't have any more air in your lungs. You die. You just f- died, Corey. Why are you so good at arguing this? <laughs> this you should not be this good. What? <laughs> I obviously do. I'm gonna lose this round. What? The f- How did it just go from it's okay to show your Peter at the Super Bowl, but burping? That's f***ed up, dude. You're going to burp for 30 seconds? That's f***ed up, Corey. Okay, all right. Let's make some noise for flashing at the Super Bowl. Or, and make some noise if you'd rather burp for 30 seconds every time you fart. Oh, I did? I won! Bro, my victories are impressive, I must say. No, you're just good at arguing. <laughs> this isn't fair. That is not fair. You're the one who chooses what card I get. I, I know, but it's, you shouldn't be winning. How is that not fair? Because how how did burping for 30 seconds lose to getting naked we didn't during get the naked. Super- Just a little, a little, like I said, a tip slip, dude. Nothing too crazy. All right, go to the next one. <laughs> I am pissed right now. Like I'm wearing a dress and a bonnet, and I'm f***ing pissed. I literally gave you the choice. You're choosing what cards I'm dealt. It's literally dealer's choice in this circumstance. It doesn't matter what I choose. It, does, it doesn't matter. You're going to win because you like to yell at me. <laughs> this one's funny. Okay. Would you rather live in an RV for 34 days doing an overnight tour <laughs> or... You are the hottest person in the world, but you smell like absolute <laughs> on fire. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. I, 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 want, I want the I smell like <laughs> on fire. I'm choosing this You're one. You're the absolute hottest person on the planet, but you smell like <laughs> on fire. Yep. You know, here's the thing. I think you might have handed me this victory because everyone here came to the overnight tour and I feel like everyone here would love, except for you, would love to, <laughs> would love to live in an RV with us for 34 days. F- <laughs> Can we switch? No. Can we switch real quick? Do you want to switch? No. Do you want to switch? No, because if I switch, you're still going to win. Okay, but think about this. If I'm the hottest person in the world, right? I could just be like one of those, like, let's say I'm a model, 
right? Uh-huh. I'm the hottest person in the world. I'm a model. But I could be like one of those models that's like super rare. Like you don't see them in public. It's like they're not even a real person, which would just make me even more famous. So no one has to even know that I smell like on fire. But wouldn't you say that if someone were to stop taking care of their hygiene, stop taking care of themselves, yes, they're hot, they were given that at birth, right? They have an amazing jawline, they look like Matt Reif, we get it, right? But if all of a sudden you start smelling like absolute doesn't that mean you don't care about yourself? Doesn't that mean you're kind of a sad person? Doesn't that mean you're probably depressed and you just don't think it's worth taking care of yourself because maybe you're not a decent human, right? Doesn't it mean like you probably internally don't think you should have the best life you can give yourself and you're just not worthwhile? So doesn't that mean you are chronically depressed and you like might have some mental health issues that obviously you aren't willing to address because you won't even put on deodorant in the morning? So I feel like even though you're super hot on the outside, on the inside, you also feel like absolute rotting <laughs> Well, what if I do, I do take care of myself and I do use conditioner and I do put on deodorant, but it's just, it's a, it's a disorder that I have. It's just my sweat, the sweat that I was born with just smells like on fire. It's not my fault. And I'll explain that to everyone around me. Like, look, it's not me. You know, it's not my fault I smell like this. I was born this way. And for you to judge me? For you to judge the way that I was born? That's f***ed up, dude. What medical condition is this called? Poopy smell. <laughs> PSS? PSS! <laughs> Psst, you smell like sh- <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Are you about to win this one? <laughs> is he about to win this round? Just tell me right now. I, I mean, I, look, I'm just saying you don't think with all of the technology in this world, someone could cure someone who smells like <laughs> you Well, don't think- if they could, then I would do it. But it just says that, oh, can I? Okay, okay, let's talk about that. Can I hire someone to make me not smell like poopy fire <laughs> Anymore. No, it says, but you smell like absolute on fire. So that's not my fault. Doesn't matter what I do. Doesn't matter how much cologne I use. Doesn't matter how many times I use two-in-one Axe shampoo and conditioner. No, make it three-in-one. So it's shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Doesn't matter how many times I use that. I still smell like I, I think I think you're looking for excuses, and I think you are now doubling down on the fact that you don't care about yourself. And it just feels like you're trying to make others feel bad for how they treat you and perceive you and smell you, when in reality, we all know you can get the smell of out of anything. I have dogs. They on my carpets. Guess what? Doesn't smell like anymore. Your chest? I know it's hairy, not a fucking carpet. Bet you I can get the smell of out of it, Corey. Are you just making excuses? What's wrong, Corey? <laughs> why are you so good at arguing? <laughs> Literally, why are you so good at this? What's wrong? Were you excited going into this game today? Did you just know? <laughs> no, this is your idea. Were you a <laughs> lawyer in your past life said, or something? You said you want to play with your eyes. I, okay. I did. <laughs> but this is not fair. What's, it, tell me, how are you feeling? I'm feel- I look, I get you're super hot. We all know that. Okay, but what's wrong? You know? I just feel like no one understands me. What? Why don't, why don't they understand? Look, you're just, you're gorgeous. You could have anything you want. I know. Including deodorant. So I know. what? So what's what's wrong? You know, what's the problem here, man? It's like just, we care about you. We just want to take care of you. It's just really hard waking up every day and like having the pressure on my back of being the hottest person in the world and like every day when I walk outside, everyone's just staring at me. Everyone's running up to me. Oh, yeah. you're so hot. You're so hot. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I just want to, you know, I just want to live a normal life. Like I can't even go to McDonald's without the cashier asking for my number. Oh, so I can't even go to Sonic <laughs> without the cashier smacking my butt. Do, do, you, do, you, do you not feel like you deserve to be famous? Is that what this is? And that's why you choose to smell like so people stay away from you? Do yeah. you not feel like you deserve this? I don't know. You I don't. do. You do, I Corey. You, I, you, you deserve. You deserve to be the hottest person on the planet. I haven't I hope washed you know my that. hair in two weeks, Elton. Why? Because we're on <laughs> tour. There's no showers. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? You want to make out? <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, make some noise. Uh, uh, make some noise for living in an RV for 34 days on the overnight tour. Now make some noise if you're the hottest person in the world, but you just, you smell like that was on fire and it's not your fault. You've done so many things to fix it and you can't. Every day you wake up and you cry and you cry and you call your mom, you call your dad. You say, what do I do? What do I do? Fix me. God, fix me. You should have stopped at, uh, you're just the hottest dude and smell like and then you started and you told everyone that now they have to wake up and cry every morning. You, may, you could have won that, I think. And then you went and said, now you have to wake up every morning and cry and call your mother? Make some noise for a hottest person that smells like poo-poo. Yeah. I think I took that. Is that a, is that a tie? Did I, is that a tie or did I take it? My, mind you, he's the hottest person that smells like but he wakes up every morning and cries and has to call his mother about it. Oh, we're just, oh, I like how they're like, give it to Corey. Oh, so you feel bad for yeah. me, yeah? Yeah, you're getting, oh, so it's a pity win. Yeah, just like the hottest dude on the planet who uses sympathy for why you can't, you put on Axe body spray in the morning. Every high school teenager can do it, but apparently you can't, Brad Pitt. I'm take, I'm taking the point. All of you could have gone on tour with us, but no, f y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you pick two more. Okay. Ew. Do you have two or just one? Right here. <laughs> Wait, why'd you, I didn't even see what it said. You just went, you just went, ew. Okay. Uh, would you rather eat the cheese in your belly button? <laughs> Who the f put in cheese in their belly button? <laughs> Who put cheese in their belly button? Okay. That's what I want to know. Okay. Or would you rather kick your mom in the face every time she tells you, I love you? Dude, thank there you. you. My mom has never told me she loves me. I never have to kick her, dude. Your mom never tells you she loves you? No, she does all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this is easy. I'm just going to eat the cheese in my belly button because there's no cheese in my belly button. No, no, there is. There, you, have to, you have to eat the cheese in your belly button. But this is so vague. It's a, it's a, it's a one-time action. What kind of cheese is it? Is it cheddar? Who wrote this card? Oh, Ginger did write that one? Ginger oh. wrote, eat the cheese in your belly button. Is it mozzarella? Is it Jack? Is it Chipotle? This is the, these are the answers I need to know. I think you're going to win this one, but I'm going to give it my best. Go ahead. Give, give it a try. Okay. I have to kick my mom in the face every time she tells me that she loves me. That's here's the f thing. My, here's the thing. No, no. It's not it's f up. You know why? My mom has actually been uh, struggling to lose weight. It's been an issue for her. For, uh, <laughs> stick, wait, wait, stick, wait, don't wait. Go on, go on, I'm listening. My mom has been struggling to lose weight for quite a long time. You know what was a great way for me to get in shape? What? Muay Thai. <laughs> kickboxing. Wait, so that's only going to get you more ripped. No, no, no. Now my mom has to learn how to block kicks. <laughs> All right? She has, and that means my mom has to train. That means my mom has to train. You know what I mean? And she also knows every time that she says, I love you, I get to kick her in the face. So she makes that choice. You know what I mean? So maybe one day my mom's like, let's do some high kick drills. You know what I mean? And my mom just texts me. She's like, I love you. 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 Like bet. See you in 30 minutes. Head kick, head kick, head kick, head kick, head kick. Right? And my mom's just blocking it, blocking it, blocking it, blocking it. Now my mom is fucking shredded. Guess what? She's going to live a longer, healthier life. And together we're going to stay in shape by bonding over how much we love each other. Well, I, I can work at any fast food restaurant. <laughs> what? I give them free cheese. You know how much money I could save restaurants? Somehow I thought you were going to win and you're making it worse for yourself again. Uh, uh, <laughs> Who the f*** puts cheese in their belly button, okay? Dude, wait, is this a thing? Stop helping no. him. You're not part of this. No. Objection. <laughs> Objection. Okay. Wait. So what, what does this mean by cheese? Ginger, did you my... write that card? No. So who wrote that card? Oh, someone here is not admitting oh. it. Oh. Ginger was a worker. Oh. Oh. It was We're, one of the workers? Let's get the worker in here. <laughs> I'm, 
I need to talk about this. It's okay. Let's 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 say uh, eat the cheese in your belly button. It's not the lint. That means you store it in there. And now you've voluntarily said you're gonna work at a fast food restaurant just so you can put a little bit of your belly cheese in their double cheeseburger. You don't think you're gonna go to jail at some point for your actions? Uh, okay, listen. Eat the cheese in your belly button. So therefore, I take it back. I don't want to work at the restaurant anymore. Okay. I'm just going to... It's probably because you got fired <laughs> for putting belly button cheese in all of the burgers. You're literally about to win this. I don't know how to defend eating cheese from my belly button. I, I literally have no idea how to defend this. Literally, why is there cheese in my belly button? This is what I'm trying to figure out. Is, so is it lint? It's your belly button, dude. And that's probably why you have terrible hygiene and smell like <laughs> shit on fire. <laughs> what, if, what if it's like, uh, you know, like the spray cheese? So I just squeeze my stomach. And it just sprays everywhere. So I could be laying down watching a movie. And I could just aim it and just, you know, hold a cracker. Yeah, I could walk around parties with a little plate. Like, oh, would you like cheese, ma'am? I don't know why I just realized this. At some point, this is going to get clipped for TikTok. And it's just going to be you in a bonnet. Just like, and do you want belly button cheese on your burger? And everyone's going to be like, what happened to Corey? He really became a ghost hunting YouTuber now. <laughs> I end my case. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. You never. What if you're lactose intolerant? <laughs> and now you're just eating your belly button cheese and getting terrible diarrhea. Then you have to FaceTime your mom, but also you get to donate type of blood to a children's hospital. It's all tying in together. Together we're making a perfect human. Damn, wait, did we just create Bigfoot? <laughs> Because again, you're the hottest dude ever. You have terrible <laughs> hygiene. You smell like <laughs> You have belly button cheese, dude. And I bet you Bigfoot could kick the <laughs> out of my mom's face. <laughs> All of these was just Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot. Oh, God. Look, That's again, good. I'm helping my mom get in shape, live a longer, healthier lifestyle, learn a skill. Guess what? If anyone tries to mug my mom, doesn't matter. She knows how to block the attack. Why? Because I kicked her in the face every time she says I-L-Y. Wait, why is it bad? If I gave people my belly button cheese. Because they didn't ask for it, did they? What if they did? Who And what if, I, what if I would put the belly button cheese in a machine that cleans it, right? And I could sell sliced cheese at all the Walmarts. <laughs> sliced cheese at all? What? Do you think you're... <laughs> Do you think your belly button is a factory in China? <laughs> it's not pumping out cheese at that level, dude. So what is it, just a one-time cheese eat thing? <laughs> you think you're just going to go to, like, the craft headquarters and just lay down belly up? Guys, and you're like, just, check just, this <laughs> out. <laughs> just make you, it. sir, open your mouth. Why? Do it. <laughs> you're hired. You literally sound like the worst superhero I could ever imagine. Cheese man. <laughs> <laughs> He likes Spider-Man, but <laughs> <laughs> someone's robbing a bank. He's like, Cheese Man, where are you? I just come walking in. <laughs> They're like, what the f does he do? I lost. <laughs> I lost. I lost. All right, let's, let's, would you rather have to eat the cheese in your belly button every time it appears? You don't know what it's going to be. You don't know how much it is. Or would you rather have to kick your Muay Thai fighting mother in the face every time she says, I love you? So, would you rather eat the cheese in your belly button? Make noise. All right. Don't f clap. <laughs> this is petty. These are petty claps. And would you, or and make some noise if you'd rather let your mom uh, compete in the UFC? <laughs> you literally thought this was a death sentence, didn't it? <laughs> I'm done with this game. <laughs> I'm done with this game. Do you want to do redemption? Do you guys want to see more rounds of this? We have a couple more cards. Yes. yes? Okay. Oh, All right, let's do... God. I guess we'll do first of four cards, unless you... I don't know. Let's figure it out. We'll, we'll go again. Yeah, let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll probably just do one more. I've kept my all my victory cards because I want to create like the person I am. <laughs> like yeah. I want to see what person I won with because <laughs> right now I would be someone who sh blood every time uh, that they poop, but it's typo negative so I can donate to children. But I also did a tip slip at the Super Bowl while my mom was watching and then my mom was like, I love you for what you did and then I kicked her in the face. <laughs> so as of right now, that's who I am. Well, as of right now, I'm the hottest person in the world, but I smell like absolute on fire, and I also Mike Tyson someone's ear. I'm a terrible person. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy, um, I'm curious to see which one you're going to pick here. Would you rather be in a long distance relationship with Satan, or have to clean your ass on the carpet like a dog? <laughs> I'm taking the carpet. Oh really? I'm taking the carpet. Oh, you gave me what I wanted. You wanted that? I would love to be in a long distance relationship with Satan. Why? Because we wouldn't be like exclusive. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, it's, like, he knows. I know he's busy. He knows I'm busy on earth. You know what I mean? We see each other when we can. You know, anytime there's like a forest fire. You know what I mean? Like, we'll just go. We'll go meet up underneath the embers, have a romantic night out, and then we'll both go about our way. And also, if I ever need anything, I'm like, hey, Sadie. Uh, you know what I mean? Do you you gave him a nickname? Yeah. He's, Sadie? He's little Sadie, yeah. <laughs> Is he a puppy? Hey, Sadie. <laughs> hey, he's just little Sadie. You know, he's, he's, my, little, he's my little Sadie. How you going to call him? What do you mean? The reception is probably terrible in hell. Oh, have you ever picked up your phone? Just dial 666. <laughs> Star 666. Star 666. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I feel like if you were in a relationship with Satan, like that's, that's pretty evil, right? You know what I mean? That's, that's pretty f***ed up. Is it? Yeah. Remember, at one point, he was an angel. God created him. And like, you know, he made a mistake. We've all made mistakes, right? You've made mistakes. Are you a perfect person, Corey? Are you perfection? Are you an angel, Corey? I'm God's angel. <laughs> Carry and on. I'm also God's little angel that likes to wipe my ass on the carpet like a dog. <laughs> you know, we're not all perfect, right? You know, you're dating Satan. I wipe my poop on the carpet. <laughs> you know, we were all a little weird. <laughs> You are not going to win by dating Satan. Hear me out. What if I can't afford toilet paper? <laughs> right? Right? Uh, you know, there's a lot of people in the world that can't afford toilet paper. They but just, they can't afford rugs. <laughs> they just use a bucket and a ladle of water. But that means you're making a choice. You're making a choice to smear your sh all over a carpet every single time. You could just go save the environment Right? Because now, guess what? We got to clean that carpet. We got to go buy all these chemicals. All these chemicals out there that hurt the environment. And all you had to do is just take a ladle of water and scoop it up your ass. What if I'm collecting it? Collecting what? The poop carpet. <laughs> <laughs> what if I'm doing a study? You know? That, that's why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it because I want to, but I'm doing it for science. I'm watching you get better at this game, and it's very fun. <laughs> You're reaching really hard, but I love it. I love it. You started by like giving up, and now you're like, you're going weird. Thank you. Okay, so you're doing it for science. Yes. What's the science? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it's like I go missing, and they're like, where's Corey? And it's like, quick, everyone, check the rugs at Ikea. <laughs> it's just, just everywhere. They're like, he was here. <laughs> he was here. <laughs> I was going to say, that carpet that you wipe your ass on could be how you collect the type O blood you donate to children. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you got to do it somehow. No. Okay, so you're, that means you are literally conscientiously making a choice mm -hmm. to wipe your ass on carpet. Mind you, for science, most houses in California where we live don't have carpet. Oh, they don't. So you're like, hey, uh, Matt, would you mind if I came over tomorrow and used your bathroom? You're terrorizing people's homes. Incorrect. What if... Oh, what if I <laughs> the fact that you're in a made bonnet, a, I can't take you seriously, dude. I made a Craigslist ad, and I said for everyone that is getting rid of their carpets, instead of taking it to the dump, where it's just gonna sit there. And imagine, imagine 300 years from now, all the carpets just stacking up on top of each other. I could have been on them. They could have been put to use, but no, they're wasting. They're taking up land. They are ruining. They're, the carpets are killing monkeys, okay? Yo, why the f*** does it feel like you're in church over there? We're like, you can sh on a carpet. Amen. And, like, and you're just literally praising him for everything he says. Like, monkeys they understand. are dying. Hallelujah. Like, it doesn't matter what you say. Why is your ad-libbing his argument right now? <laughs> Look, okay, or you get to be in a relationship with a fallen angel who happens to control the underworld where I would presume about half of the people on earth go after they die. I would say about 50% wow. of people. You don't think so? 50? I would, I would think so. Because well, here's the thing, right? If you, believe in, if you believe in hell and the underworld, that means you also believe that all the other people that don't believe in your religion go there. 
right? So that would mean a huge portion of people are going to go there. And Satan, I bet you he was like, hey, this is f***ed up, dude. Like, you guys can believe in what you want. You shouldn't have been sent here. He's a good guy. <laughs> Satan's a good guy. He's just, he's just a little misunderstood. And guess what? If your heater ever goes out, star six, six, <laughs> hey, do you mind lighting my fire? Boom, fireplace lit up, nice and cozy. Again, long distance relationship. Obviously, he's in hell. But, you know what I mean? You can still live your life normally. He doesn't control you. He doesn't make you do evil things. He appreciates you. He loves you. He respects you. How do you know? How do you know? Because I have enough respect in myself to choose who or not I would want to be in a relationship with. Well, I poop on carpet. (laughs) And I don't think that's that bad. I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's go to the crowd then. Would you rather have to clean your ass on the carpet like a dog every time you shit? Yeah. Or would you rather be in a long distance relationship with the king of the underworld? Yeah. Ooh, that might be like a tie. That oh, might actually no. be a tie. Should we do it again? Or should we do a raise of hands? Let's do, let's do raise of hands. Raise your hand if you want to clean your ass on the carpet like a dog every time you poop. So one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, no. seven, eight. And then raise your hand if you would rather be in a long distance relationship with Lil Sadie. Oh my oh, God. Oh, I won by three. I won by three or four. I won. <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> you want to do a final round or no? Should we do one more round? Yeah. All right, one more round. If I get to five, it's over. We'll give you a chance to make a massive oh, comeback. Oh, if I get to five. Yeah. One, yeah, when I get to five. All right, you get to pick two. Oh God. Oh God. Mm, okay. Um, would you rather be infected by a zombie virus or have $10 million, but you can't spend any of it until you chew all your fingers off? Ooh, that's kind of... I'm in, okay, I'm not going to say anything. I want you to pick what you're going to pick. Which one are you giving to me? I'm not going to say anything at all. Oh, God. Okay, I'm giving you the zombie virus. Okay. Okay. Fuck, I didn't want that one. I know you didn't. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. And you know why? You know why I choose the 10 million? Because think about this. So what? Who cares that I have to chew my fingers off? That's about me. <laughs> Not everything is about me. Good start. Very good start. I care about the people. I care about the world. Imagine with $10 million, wow, $10 million. Imagine what I could do. You've gotten so much better since we started. Thank you, wow. Imagine all the food that I could get for the starving children, all the houses, all the shelters that I could build for the homeless. And what did I have to do? I had to chew my fingers off. Who cares? Who needs, who needs your fingers? Because it's not about you. It's about the planet. (laughs) Hmm. (laughs) One question. Is the 10 million tax free? No. Oh, four, and- four million has went to fixing your neighborhood sidewalk. <laughs> Wait, but you live, in, you live in California. So that means you, uh, you lost 13%. It is tax-free. I changed my <laughs> mind. <laughs> no, no, no. Changed no, no, my no, no. mind. No, no. You lost $1.3 million to the 13% tax rate. You also, because of the tax tier you're in, you lost 53%, right? So now you're at, you've now lost 66% of your income. So all you're left with is $3.4 million. Now, here's the thing. Let's say you chew your fingers off. Mm-hmm. It's going to be really difficult for you to use a phone. It's going to make it really difficult for you to call anyone. It's going to make it really difficult for you to go to the bank to donate the money to make these transactions. Guess what? Mm. Eventually, you're going to realize, oh, here's $100,000 to charity. Sure, right? But at some point, you're going to go, huh, I think I need my fingers back. No. Guess how much that's going to cost? Guess what? You did it to yourself. You're not covered by the VA bill. Medicare is not going to cover you. Your insurance isn't going to help you. You're going to pay that out of pocket. Guess how much that's going to be? Probably about $3.6 million. <laughs> Guess what? All you did, donate a hundred grand of charity, and now you're fingerless, you dip. Hmm. You see, 
to see you guys. This is why I chose the money and not Elton. Because what did he keep saying that whole argument? You, 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 you. And what did I say since the beginning? It's not about me. It's about the world. Who cares if I lost my fingers? Oh, I need help? I'll pay someone 40 grand a year to be my assistant. I'll put 400K aside. I'll have them help me. They'll do the phone calls. They'll go door to door for me. I don't care. But what I do care about is saving the monkeys. Thank you. Okay. Let's, uh, here, no, no, you know, let's, let's, let's do a little questioning here, right? Because that's a lot of money to just kind of be on the table. Hmm. You know what I mean? It's actually in my bank account. Is it? Yes. Now, who offered up this $10 million? Obama. But, and, for, and for the record, uh, it's not in your bank account because you still have all your fingers. So you don't, you don't have the money I yet. Haven't. So it, it sounds like you might be in like kind of a saw situation here. You know what I mean? Where he's like, you want to play a game? I'll give you, I'll give you, ten, I'll give you ten million dollars if you chew your fingers off. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and you you actually think that the person that propositioned you this, after you chewed your fingers off, would actually give you the money? I do, I do, because I trust them. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, go go ahead, zombie man. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, have you ever heard of a vaccine? <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, do, you know what a, do you know what a vaccine is, right? Yeah, I it's do. It's a small dose of the infection that you have that you give to yourself ahead of time so your immune system can build up a defense against it, against it prior to you getting the full infection of it. Okay. So guess what? I was infected by a zombie virus. Why? Because I was one of the first people to get the vaccine to test it so I can make sure that when this virus spreads, which it's going to happen eventually, no one else needs to die. So yeah, sure, you donated, oh, $3.6 million. Wow, I saved the planet, Corey. Does it say that you, you are infected from a vaccine? No, but it says I, it says I am infected by a zombie virus. <laughs> hmm, prove it. Where's your shot? <laughs> Where, where's your shot? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> 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 you had to get uh, it in the femoral, you know, right, yeah, right there. Yeah. I don't know. What if, this, what if this zombie virus doesn't even spread for another 70, 80 years? You know, you could just be a test dummy right now. Sure. But at least I'm helping the future, even if it's 70 or 80 years from now. Ten, dude, $3.6 million is nothing at the end of the day when you donate to charity. Most charities, CEOs, take like 20% of the salary or the donations and put it towards their salary. Most of the money you give doesn't actually make it to the end cause. And here you are. You said you were going to give it to a charity. You didn't say you were going to go door to door and hand people $500 at a time, $500 at a time, which by the way, if it's under $600, you don't have to claim it on your taxes. So instead, all you did was take money, bring it to a charity charity, which then is going to siphon it out to their CEO. Maybe 1% of it's going to actually make it to the good cause. And that's it. And you're fingerless. Guess what, Corey? All I did help save the planet. Make some noise for the <laughs> 10 million. <laughs> All right. All right. I think we're both kind of too good at this game. I know this isn't fair. I don't like this. Okay. Make some noise for the, have the $10 million but I can't have the money until I chew all my fingers off. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and make some noise if you were infected by a zombie virus to help create the vaccine. I think, I think you have it, but we might have to go to hands again. All right, raise a right, hand. Hands for Corey, hands for Corey, hands up for Corey. Oh, wait, no, I think I might have won again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then hands up for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I won by two. Dude, it's okay. <laughs> the people that are voting for me just aren't as loud. They're just logical. <laughs> I cannot believe I lost that. <laughs> five straight, five to two, dude. I'll Whatever. take it. At the end of the day, what, what person did you become? I was, I, I smelled like <laughs> I bit off an ear. And that's it, right? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's, that's all I person. was. Here I am, a, uh, a part zombie. I 
blood every time and I donate it to children who have cancer. And then I flashed the Super Bowl because I'm a star-studded performer. My family was watching. My mom said she loved me. I kicked her in the head. She blocked it. And because of that, Satan was like, you're a f dope dude. You want to hang out on the weekends? That's me, dude. Let's go to the stories. <laughs> I don't know how I lost. <laughs> Dude, I thought I had you guys. Oh I swear on God. that last one, I thought I had it. I really think you did, but you went hard and I had to go harder. You also gave me time to talk, I think. I know. I should not have done that. <laughs> I definitely should not have done that. that. Was, you got way better. Wait, can I just read what the rest of these were? Yeah. I'm just going to read what the rest of these were because I'm very, very curious. Uh, it was, you look, dress, smell, and act exactly like Hitler. Thank God we didn't get to that one. Um, or you live in 7-Eleven bathroom for 19 years. You live in Kim Kardashian's <laughs> cheek cottage she built specifically for you. Um, you became a ghost, but you can only haunt the YMCA men's locker room on geriatric swim night. Um, you cast a spell that gives all toddlers super strength and extreme uncontrollable violence, uh, aka the zombie virus. Be the first person on Mars, but no one else ever joins except for Martians that probe you on Twitch live stream. You save your best friend's life from the roof of a 30-story burning building, but the only way is to tie a bungee jumping cable around your scrotum slash labia. Um, you perform a ritual in the White House that takes away Florida's rights to vote for presidents. <laughs> you breastfeed Annabelle until she's grown enough to get her driver's license. You have to be driven every day by Jerry. That's, <laughs> <our motor. laughs> That's a good one. You constantly lick a lollipop made entirely of Kentucky Derby, Kentucky Derby winning racehorse semen. Um, wow, these are wild. You go on Jerry Springer and propose to your uncle. Dude, we're not even halfway through here. You burp for 30 seconds every time you fart. That was in there twice. Yeah, good, smart. Okay, people. I'm not gonna read. The, oh, these are these are all the rest. Oh, that was all of them. Okay. Oh, I'm very glad we didn't have to do the Hitler one because you would have given that to me, and I would have said, nope, <laughs> I will concede. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I have I have a I have a story in here. I will give it to you because apparently you have a, an amazing voice. You want to debut tonight? Oh, should I uh, should I read it in my bonnet voice, everyone? <laughs> Someone went, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me uh, get into character. Um. In Belvedere, NC, there was this little school that's been there forever. That's a pretty good, dude. <laughs> yeah. I was born in Tennessee, so I had that that's little twang. You know what I mean? Good. Okay. For a short amount of time. I lived across the street from it, which was believed to be the teacher's house. Why do you sound like you're married to the creepy old dude from Family Guy? <laughs> <laughs> they would come over and get popsicles. No, it's a joke. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. I think it was a late 1800s house. I was left alone there a lot, but I never felt alone. One day, I was in my room watching TV or something when my mom and her friend were out when the radio turned on downstairs. It got louder. It might have even changed stations a couple times. I was literally frozen in fear. And then it turned off. It was quiet. But then I heard somebody walking up the stairs. I was freaking out. But I couldn't move. I didn't want to move. So I stayed where I was with my back to the door and looking at the mirror that showed behind me. <laughs> Each step creaked on its own. Then it made it to the top and there was a pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> then Soft footsteps came to my door. I was staring in the mirror and there was nothing there except me. Oh, shit. <laughs> it turned away, walked a little more, and it stopped. Pause. <laughs> I didn't hear it again. I was freaking out. Oh, oh. 
15 minutes later, my mom came home and everything was fine. Later that week, I was trying to go to sleep. I was laying in bed, but it felt too hot, so I was tossing and turning. Eventually, I got comfortable. <laughs> I got comfortable with my hand hanging off the bed. Great, right? Just like every scary movie ever. It was like August, so the room was ridiculously hot. And we're in North Carolina. Is there a, is there a boar? Is there a wild boar in the room right now? <laughs> Jesus, okay. Um, so I fed the boar a carrot, and it ran... <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I was looking out the window at the stars. Wow. And I finally got tired and closed my eyes. Mm. But my hand started to get very, very cold. Ooh. Like a breeze went over it. My hand, it felt like a static, like when it falls asleep. And I moved my fingers because it felt weird and I wanted to see if it hurt. And then like, I chewed them all for that 10 million. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't feel a damn thing. They were too cold. And I bit them all. I ate my pinky and fed it to the boar. <laughs> and then after I did it, my mom came in. She said, I love you. And I kicked her. <laughs> I beat up my mom. <laughs> she blocked that. <laughs> then the boar bit her ear off. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and nothing happened. <laughs> it was cold. And when I stopped, I felt the static. So I opened my eyes. And the right in front of me was a blur. Ooh. Blocking the window in a shape of a person. I could see through it. But the stars that were clear as day 20 seconds ago were blurry. Shouldn't the stars be clear as night? <laughs> <laughs> and almost in the perfect spot for eyes. It didn't move. And of course, I blinked to try to clear it, but nothing happened. It's still there. There was literally somebody holding my hand. Oh, hey there, partner. <laughs> I could see the shape of them. I could feel the cold and the static and them looking at me. Little old me, trying not to cry. <laughs> Slowly brings my hands under the covers and buries my face under the blanket. Get your hand off my knee. Just because I'm wearing a dress doesn't mean it's the covers. Doesn't it literally say, put my hand on the cover and then buried my... Stop it. Does it not say that? A bunch of other Wait, little... does it not say that? What does it say? It says my hands are under the covers. Yeah. Why, why is my dress the covers? I don't know. Your jacket could be the covers. Oh, what's the next line, though? <laughs> A bunch of other little things happened there. <laughs> 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 Do the bunch of little things. Elton. Elton. <laughs> Lil Bo Peep. Let me take a peep. No. <laughs> Y'all are not ready for this. This is terrible timing. Listen. A bunch of other little things happened there that I don't remember. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? <laughs> but after that night... I have never slept with my hands outside the covers again. A few years ago, my mom and I were talking about that house, and she told me the same day I heard the footsteps when they pulled in the driveway, they saw a woman standing in the window looking at the driveway, and that wasn't me. I was on the other side of the house, but the same floor. It was right after she stopped outside my door. I like to think it was the teacher 
just looking out for a little kid, but it's still terrifying to be thrown in the deep end like that. You know why? Why? Because she burnt for 30 seconds and sank. (laughs) Stuff along those lines has ran in my family for a very long time, so it was only a matter of time for it to happen to me too. Cheyenne, can Cheyenne please come up here? Well, how you doing? I'm pretty good. How are y'all? Good. good. D- did I um did I did I tell the story well? Yeah. 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 Was the accent good? Oh yeah, it was spot on. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it's spot on. It's, are you doing an accent right now? Because you should sound. I like mean, him. I can. I just hide it recently. Just talk like this. I mean, okay, fine. <laughs> was the story good? Yeah. <laughs> that kind of sounded like me a little it bit. Does, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I really tried my hardest. I really did. Okay, I might have lost. Okay, so this all happened at a school. Is that correct? No, 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 no. No. Uh, it was across the street from the school. Okay, so it was across the street from the school, yeah. and then that's why you thought it was a teacher. Okay, that yeah. means I got it. Sorry, I lost track during ad libs. Um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, and then you said this runs in your family. Mm-hmm. So do you have any other examples? Of something like this happening? Um, not like specific examples like that, but apparently some of my like great grandmothers. <clears throat> sorry, he flipped the bonnet up and it made me <laughs> laugh. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Good. Um, they were witches, and my grandma, my grandma Sylvia, she was born with a veil, so that means that there was a, th- a thin layer of skin above her face that was wiped off. And if you're born with that, you're supposed to be able to see things other people can't. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay. I've never heard of that. Yeah. She used to have stuff to happen to her all the time. And the like one that my family talks about most is how her... I'm sorry my voice is so shaky. No, you're good. You're okay. I don't like people. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, y'all are cool. Like, everybody's here is cool. I'm just like stressed out. I thought out. you were about to be like, y'all are cool, but everybody else is like, what the f- you guys? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just stressed. That's I'm what just I stressed. thought you were going to do. <laughs> no. But, um, you're good. You're good. So her, my great-great-grandpa had this truck, or like he just bought one, and she saw somebody in the cab. She didn't want to go in it. She was freaking out. Like she was having a panic attack. And the rest of her family was like, we need to go. Like, what's happening right now? She's like, there's a witch in that truck. And nobody else saw it. And she never got in that truck. Wow. Interesting. (laughs) And then were you ever, like, taught anything? Did Mm -mm. your family, like, kind of, hey, this is part of our our heritage, part of, like, your ancestry? No, I only found stuff out in recent years. Like, um, my great-grandma... Or not my great-grandma. My grandma Sylvia died when my mom was 16. So I never got to meet her. And she was the one that was born with the veil. And my mom has always been terrified of this kind of stuff. So it never Hmm. happened. And I just kind of got into it on my own. And my mom started telling me stuff. What does everyone think that the person in the window that she saw when she pulled in, what does everyone think that is? We don't know. It was only there for a second. And they were like, who's that? And then they never told me until, or my mom only told me a couple years ago. They were like, yeah, I saw somebody after you told me that happened, but I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to scare you. Wow. Did she think it was paranormal? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you, you don't, I mean, I, I'm, you don't have to go into to detail on it, but what was the little bit more? Uh, was it PG? You can just tell me, was it PG or not PG? What do you mean? Like, was a little bit more, like you said, you felt the hand. Was it, like, a little bit more, like, touching, or was it... Oh, no, it was just the hand. Okay. Yeah. The little bit more the way I thought you meant, like, something... It's because of the way I oh, read no. it. Okay. <laughs> no, that was all yeah. me. Okay. Yeah, no. that was all me. Okay, when I heard the little bit more, I was like... <laughs> when you thought her hands are like, smacking <laughs> her in the face? No, I was just trying to figure it's out... like, wh- my hand fell asleep, and then I beat myself up. <laughs> I, I thought it was potentially like a succubus incubus oh, story. Like, that's yeah. what that's what I thought 
was no. happening there. No, I just meant like a bunch of other random little stuff happened in the house, like footsteps or doors oh, or okay, the way, or whatever. Got it. So the way I heard it was like after the hand went under the cover, a little bit more happened. That's what I thought. No. Okay. <laughs> Makes way more sense now. Okay. Got it. So how long, but is it is it normal to hear footsteps in the house or did it only happen that day? Um, apparently, we were staying with my mom's friend at the time. It was her house. And she said a bunch of stuff happened all the time. And, but nothing ever happened to my mom. It was just me and her. Do you ever feel in danger? I mean, I'm sure no. in that moment that felt not pleasant. I mean, to... it was terrifying. Right. But I wasn't, I mean, I was scared, but I didn't think it was anything bad. Because usually when you think of something bad, you think of like a shadow or something dark, but it was completely blurry. It was just clear, you know? Well, clear and are different things. So but you know what I'm talking about. Whose house were you at during this? Uh, my mom's friend's. And has, has your mom's friend said that her house is haunted? Um, I think she did, but we haven't like talked to her in a long time. And I don't know if anything's continued, but I know little stuff happened to her. And then the big thing happened to me. Hmm. Do you think that something happened to you because it's like kind of just like runs in the blood? Maybe. I've, I've tried to figure that out. And that could be a possibility. But um, at the time, I was just starting to get into like the paranormal and stuff. So it was probably on my mind. Oh. And so it kind of just attracted so, it. Yes, 100%. So many people tell us, they're like, my house is now haunted because I watch your videos. But I don't, I, I don't think it's our videos getting their house haunted. I think that it's because you're watching paranormal videos. So now you're opening up that side of yeah, you exactly. of believing. And spirits can see that. They can see like, oh, this person believes. So now I'm going to interact with them. Yeah. And plus, if it was supposed to be something like bad or scary, you wouldn't be holding my hand. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, holding your hand is the first way to like yank. You know what That's I mean? That's true. That's it's like, true. gotcha. Right. And like you're gone. So that, that's true. That's true. Yeah. But I guess if I saw something different, then it would have been. Sure. Like but did you feel scared like when your hand like felt? Yeah, when it got cold, I was like, that's like really weird because it's 90 degrees outside in the middle of the night. It sucks in North Carolina. And I was like, what the hell is going on? And like I said, I felt the static. And I was like, that's not normal. And so I like moved my fingers and it didn't hurt. So I was like, what is happening? So I opened my eyes and I see it. I'm like, Whoa, okay. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I, I, this isn't right. So yeah. why do you think that it was a teacher from the school? Um, because it was supposed to be the teacher's house because that's how mm. Belvedere worked. It was super, super small. And so it was the school. And then right across from it was the house. And there were a bunch of other old houses there too. And I think the school burned down at some point in time. So I had that like imprint into my brain that something happened to somebody. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Do you think maybe that could have also been some form of like a, a test? Like think about it reaches out and it grabs your hand and you're, you're going to do probably two things. You're either going to like freak out and like startle and jolt away mm -hmm. or what you did, which is kind of like more calmly just let it happen and kind of like not make a big deal out of it. Yeah. Like it kind of makes me wonder, we always hear about these kind of like instances where activity happens, but based on how you react to it, I think can tend to drive more. Yeah. And I think like maybe in that moment it was like, oh, let me, let me do this and try and freak you out. And you were like, Meh. and it was like, all right, that was stupid. And then just like <laughs> left versus had you like freaked out, maybe it could have driven more. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think that was the only big thing that happened in the house. And that's the only like real thing I remember. Besides her seeing the person in yeah. the footsteps, because it was like maybe in the same week or so, but that was like the only thing that really happened there. I wonder if like, because like you said, your mom saw like her in the window when she pulled in, right? Mm -hmm. So I wonder if maybe like with the like grabbing your hand and then kind of showing herself a little bit was a way of her just trying to let people know that she is like a peaceful spirit, like nothing to be scared of. Yeah, that's Cause she didn't do anything of. that was scary. Exactly. And so that's why I think it's just the teacher cause it was just her holding my hand and it didn't feel threatening or scary or anything. And you said that the school burned down? I think it did at some point in time. And that was the house that the teacher lived in? A hundred percent. It was the teacher. <laughs> 
Uh, it has to be the teacher. Has anyone gone in to try and, on a more like formal investigation manner, communicate and see if it truly is the teacher? No, I think we've all just kept it between ourselves, except now. <laughs> except now. Except now. Is that, has that ever been an interest or like a? Um, I haven't like, really thought about it. We haven't been in touch with my mom's friend in like five, six years, but. I mean, it could be fun. <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting for you to reach out and see if in those five, six years there's been any more instances there. True. And then it's like, huh, do you want to actually like find out? Because if that is the case and there has been stuff happening, you could possibly even remove it. Yeah. You know, or I don't know, or just talk more casually with them. Yeah. You know, it'd be, it'd be kind of cool. Like, I always, I always wonder, like, when people have these experiences, most people's first instinct is like to not talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if everyone was more open about these instances, would there be more opportunities for people to actually realize who it is and maybe help them, Yeah. you know, pass on? Or maybe she just loves being there. If that was like her school. Yeah. Because it sounds like if that's her house, she was the mm -hmm. only teacher. Mm -hmm. Got it. So that was probably where she lived and probably died teaching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would presume. That's you know what would be crazy? Hmm. If you uh, contacted your mom's friend and then you're like, so what have you been up to? And she's like, I'm a teacher now. <laughs> and that it's like was, oh my God. the energy of the teacher in that house like influenced her to change her jobs and become a teacher. Or Because we've heard stuff about that. Mm -hmm. The spirits can influence like their energy into you to make you make you know different decisions. So what if the teacher is – I mean, if that's the case, what if the teacher is actually in your mom's friend? And like, if that, the teacher is now the teacher. Oh my God! No, no! <laughs> it's this super nice school teacher. She's like, I'm just gonna hold her hand. It's like you call the mom's friend. She's like, oh, I'm a teacher. She's possessed. You don't. You don't. What, what? You don't think there's possession in positive manners? I don't think possession always means your head has to spin 360 degrees and you have to vomit <laughs> and crawl on the ceiling. So do you mean more of like an attachment that's influencing decisions? No, wait. Actually, that's a very that's a very interesting question. Why does possession always viewed as something negative? Can possession be something good? I, I don't... What do you think? I'm just know. curious. What's your, your <laughs> thought? I mean, like, I don't know. Just completely right? Like, you're not uh, investigating every day. And, like, what's just... Do you think that's a possibility? That um, people can be possessed by positive things? I mean, I wouldn't say why not, but I highly doubt it would happen because things that are seen more positive are, like, not exactly things that seem like you can possess you like when you think of possession you think of like the exorcist or poltergeist or whatever yeah. and so that's all negative and so are, if something's positive are, then it would movies. be on a more lighter side but those are movies though you yeah. know what i mean like if you don't you think if your favorite thing in the world to do was teach you loved it more than anything else you couldn't go another day without teaching and you had an opportunity to teach again and that just meant conveying yourself into another person. You don't think he would do that? Um, and you wouldn't be causing any harm. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I guess I can see it happening, but I wouldn't want to see him as Bonnie as a teacher. She was mean, so I don't think that would work. <laughs> so maybe in that case, the possession would have made her nicer. Exactly. I don't <laughs> so you never know. I don't know about that. Cause that just sounds like an attachment that's then controlling your life. You know what I mean? Which would be bad. Because then you're not doing what you really want to do. You're doing whatever is attached to you wants to do. Sure, sure. So I don't know if there really could be a good possession. But I, I'm just saying everyone views possession as crawling on the ceiling, super strength, levitating, speaking tongues, speaking Latin, right? Your face morphs. You're trying to kill everyone. But I'm not saying that it, it's a good thing to be possessed. But I'm just saying, don't you, don't you think there's a possibility that some people are literally just like, yeah, they actually aren't themselves. Yeah, 100%. I mean, we've heard stories about that. Or at least I know I have. I've heard stories about people that, you know, they're, they hate carrots and they hate, you know, this type of TV show and stuff like that. <laughs> and then they did something paranormal. And then the next day they come back home and now all of a sudden they're always like eating carrots. And all of a sudden now they're into watching golf. You've never heard stories about that? Genuinely, no. No. Is that, is that a, 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 like an actual example of something yes. you've seen? Or is that yes. Like there's this one story where um, this husband, uh, he every time, every day, his wife would make him tea. And he hated when she would put sugar in his tea. And he went missing. I believe, I believe we talked about that. He went missing for like six months. 
And then, like, the police and everything, everyone stopped searching for him. And then one day he came back home, and he looked exactly how he looked the day that he left. And she was saying that everything was fine, and he wouldn't say where he was, but he was just, like, acting different and saying how he would, when she would make him tea, he would get, like, a spoon full of sugar and pour it in there and then swirl it around. And she's like, this can't be my husband. My husband hates sugar. I'm going to be honest. That sounds like this dude went out and cheated for six months <laughs> and came back, was like, yeah, honey, I love sugar, and I love you, too, so much. That's kind of what that, that sounds like. Okay, maybe. maybe. <laughs> it, it could be a made-up story. Like it could, he looked it could the be. same, and he came back, and he, yeah, and he was like, no, honey, I was possessed. Oh, yeah. no, it wasn't Rebecca. I was possessed. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what that sounds like. Maybe, maybe it's a made-up story. I mean, Maybe. I'm not saying it's made up, but it sounds like someone was like, look, it's either get a divorce or uh, possession. Or like sugar. <laughs> yeah, or like sugar, I guess. <laughs> yeah, true. If you, if you could possess anyone, you, you yourself, <laughs> you get to become that person, you possess them, mm-hmm. who, are, who are you possessing? Oh, God. Anyone. Um, they can be live or dead. Let's start with alive. I feel like Kim Kardashian would be fun. She got so much money to spend. You can do anything. That's a good point. <laughs> you, you would possess Kim Kardashian. Would you change yeah. anything about her? Like, would you influence her mm. with your personality? Or would you just stay just fabulous as f- Imagine Kim Kardashian becoming a ghost hunter. Wow. <laughs> Shit, dude. That would be literally the number one show. Who just did it? Kesha? Kesha yeah, just Kesha. became a ghost hunter? Seriously? Yep. Kim Kardashian ghost hunting? That would be huge. Is that what you would do? You would make her start ghost hunting? Yeah, or anybody. I think that'd be fun. Just take some random person like Martha Stewart, make her a ghost hunter now. Dude, <laughs> imagine if Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg came That'd out awesome. with a ghost hunting show. Bruh. Holy <laughs> sh- <laughs> Bruh, and we're, and we're the ones in the tech room like guiding yeah, we're them. We're in the van. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> watching. I don't know. We're watching everything. Oh listening my. to EVPs. Okay, someone who's not alive, who would you possess? Um, you also get to turn them into a ghost hunter. <laughs> Somebody dead? Who? Uh, Someone dead anywhere as far back as you can go. As far back? I don't know. I'm just thinking of like a bunch of popular old celebrities like Elvis or Freddie Mercury or Marilyn Monroe. Like I don't know what I'd make them do, but it'd be fun to be them. Very true. <laughs> Who would you possess? Living, Corey? Living? Yeah, living. You get to become that person. Basically, Freaky Friday, except they don't become you. You just also, you're with them and them, and you get to influence slowly how they think and act. Oh. Who are you possessing? God. Uh, Dr. Phil. (laughs) I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. What would you do? What would you make? How would you change Dr. Phil? Or would you just go along for the ride? I wouldn't change (laughs) <laughs> I would just be Dr. Phil. That's it. That's it. I want to ch- maybe I would change his walk. I would change the way that he walks, you know? I'd put a little dip with it. That's about it. So every time when he walks out to the show, he's you know, he's like he's holding his pants. He's walking out, got that little got that little swag walk and then you know, he does his little Dr. Phil sh- and then the show ends and then I would walk off again with that little dip. Okay. Dr. Phil with the drip. Dr. Phil with the drip. I'd get a grill. That's what I would do. I would get a grill. <laughs> Dr. Phil with a grill. Dr. Grill? Dr. Grill. <laughs> Dr. Grill. That's what I would do. Just solving problems. What about you? I think I'd be Drake. Drake? Yeah. Why? Because like so many people are just like simps for Drake. Like so many boys just like look up to him and they're like, Drake's my idol. And you could just make, you could, I could just cause havoc. <laughs> Like what? I could just make a song about like how Twinky Dinky is like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like my next song is literally called, what was it? Twinkle, Twinkle, Dinkle? Twinkle, uh, no. Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky. Dipsy. I would just make a whole new song about like Twinky, Twinky, what the f***? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> tinky Winky. I would make a whole song about like Tinky Winky okay. and just get all these people just started singing about it. They think they're the hardest Dressing up like Teletubbies. I would just use my influence and just make everyone look like a buffoon. Okay. Do I think Drake it, or Jack Harlow? You would do Jack Harlow? Or do Jack Harlow. Or do Jack Harlow? Yeah. I don't know enough about Jack Harlow. Yeah, I mean, he's fine, so you can get people's attention that way. And then just make him do stupid stuff. And he has he has a KFC meal. Exactly. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Does, he has the... What? The Jack Harlow <laughs> meal. 
It's literally called the Jack. It's called Harlow. the Jack yeah. Harlow meal. Why didn't Jack in the Box sign him first? That's what, me, dude. I said <laughs> Jack that. Jack in the Box Harlow meal. I know. I know. Oh, dude. That's, I know. That's I'm, disappointing. I'm, I'm pretty disappointing. I thought you were gonna say you chose Drake because he's from the six. So you would just always do like six six six. Oh no, I don't forever. know anything about him. I just know that so many people like idolize him. It would just be really funny to like use that influence okay. for weird reasons. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. What? Where? Where does he have a meal at? KFC. 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 Mm-hmm. The Pepper Jack Harlow sandwich. Pepper Jack <laughs> Harlow. That's good. That is. That's a pretty good. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. Do you feel as though, to this day? Anything else has happened? Have you had more instances of this, or was this like the main marquee one? Uh, that was like the first thing that happened to me, and then like through the last couple of years, a bunch of stuff has. Like I've been to the Stanley, a bunch of stuff has happened there. Um, different houses, houses I've lived in, stuff like that. So it's been a continuous thing until maybe like a year ago, and I feel like it fell out somewhere. So I kind of want to pick that up again, which is really weird. Okay, what's the craziest thing that happened since that? Since that, ooh, okay. Is it just mainly footstep type stuff or? No, I played the Ouija board a couple of times with my friends and depending on the person, it's had different reactions kind mm. of or different things that it said. And I've had doors open in my room in multiple houses. I've heard voices, stuff has moved. Um, Whistling. I've heard a lot of whistling in one of my houses. That was like super weird. I was telling my parents, I was like, dude, there's somebody whistling in my room. And they're like, no, it's just the pipes. You're fine. It was not fine. <laughs> there was knocks, there was voices, there was whistles. It, nobody was listening to me. And... You think that was because of the Ouija board? Possibly. I mean, I don't know if that happened before or after I started playing. I think it might've happened before, mm. but in a different house where things were more negative was when I was playing. So that was... I feel like that messed stuff up. And, and you said this is like in your family, so it was bound to happen. Do you have any other siblings where this is ha- like younger or older that they've also had these things happen? My sister, okay, when she was probably around my, young age, my age or a little younger, especially at the time that happened, um, she decided to play the Ouija board with her friends or like do tarot cards or something. And she ended up coming home and she was in her room and my mom, she was in the hall and she heard my sister, Brandy, she was talking to somebody. She's like, who are you talking to? And she's like, there's a little girl. And so like my mom was like, oh, no, 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 no. Because she's been afraid of this stuff ever since she was little because she used to play with my great grandma and my grandma and stuff like that. So she's been terrified of all this kind of stuff. And so like my sister Brandy talking to that little girl freaked her out. And I don't know any of the details because I'm pretty sure my mom tried to for- just forget about it. Wow. Yeah. Wait, so did you say the little girl that she was talking to has been talking to other family members? No, she just kind of showed up during, like, when Brandy was playing. Oh, I yeah, thought you so were saying, we like, she talked to your grandma, happen. and she talked to your aunt, and then she talked to her. Oh, no, my like, when mom. when they were little kids, they experienced that, too. Oh, no, my mom played the Ouija board with my grandma and my great-grandma okay. and those people. Yeah. 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 Dude, that's such a family thing to do. I literally used to do that. <laughs> literally, that was a family thing to do growing up. We I, would all play the Ouija board. I used to just kick my mom in the face. <laughs> Lucky you, all my family's too afraid to play. I was gonna say, that's probably safer than doing a Ouija board. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, well, hey, thank, thanks for sharing your story. Yeah. And thanks I see you're, you're a whole lot me. less nervous now. So. Yeah. Awesome, you did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. Give it a round of applause, everyone. <laughs> Give it up, y'all. Yeah. It's like super surreal, like being up here with you guys because I've been watching you for like the last four or five years. So Let's like, go. it's so cool to meet you guys. Let's go. <laughs> right, can you do me one favor then? Huh. Can you be like, you guys are cool, but fuck all y'all real quick? Yeah, I know Am I parent- allowed to curse right now? Okay. <laughs> Just cover your ears. <laughs> so y'all are cool, but. F- Oh, y'all, I'm sorry, but y'all are so cool. Oh, my God. And now everyone cheer again. Everyone cheer again. (laughs) And that is the intro to our episode right there. (laughs) Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's just such a funny clip to have. Y'all are cool, but f*** all (laughs) y'all. That's going to be the trailer to this podcast. Who was the girl that was on Dr. Phil that ended up getting super Bad baby? baby. Yeah, yeah. That's some shit Bad Baby would do. (laughs) Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys all coming out tonight. It was super fun. Um,